Hello, this is T. Chapman 500, and this will be the first in a series of video tutorials on how to build a track for NASCAR Racing 2003 season. For this series of videos, I'm going to assume that you already have NASCAR Racing 03 installed with the 1.021 update installed, and I'm also going to assume that you have Sandbox installed. Now, for this tutorial, we are going to create a workspace for our tracks that is separate from NASCAR Racing 03. So here's the NASCAR Racing 03 tracks directory, and here is our workspace that we're gonna be building the tracks in. Now to fully set up this workspace, we're going to take the shared folder from our NASCAR Racing 03 tracks directory, and we're gonna copy it into our workspace. We're then going to take the makelib and RTS files and copy those into the shared folder. Then we're going to go into command prompt and navigate to this shared folder. So this is our workspace directory and now we are at the shared folder. We're going to type in makelib, which is the name of the application, hit enter and that'll give us a nice reference. We're then going to type in make lib again and we want to find the argument to unpack a dat file which in this case is dash u so we're going to add dash u shared dot dat and this will take a few seconds it might take up to a minute but that unpacks the shared dot dat file we can then close this out and note that this next step is only for if you have your workspace separate from NASCAR Racing 03. We are going to delete the shared dot dat folder. And if we need it back, we can just go back to the NASCAR Racing 03 directory and recopy it. We're also going to just delete the copy of the makelib and RTS files. And that is how we set up our workspace for building tracks for NASCAR Racing 03. The shared folder contains all of the objects that are shared between racetracks and also the textures for those objects, as well as a few other files that are shared across racetracks. We're not going to be using the shared folder for a while, so we can just ignore it. We're just setting it up. And the reason we're setting it up in this video instead of in a future video is because we only have to set it up once. Also, there is a myth going around that you have to copy the contents of the shared folder into each of the track's local directories. This myth is false. Don't do it. All it will do is bloat your track's directory. Now, for the next video, we're going to set up the directory for the racetrack that we want to build. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you want to support my work, you can do so via Patreon or Subscribestar. Also, link to my Discord server is in the description. This is T. Chapman 500 signing off.